I can remember vividly uh, before the 2002 uh, World Cup. Uh, after we we played the Nations Cup, some players were dropped and uh, new players were introduced. And uh, before going to the World Cup, we were kind of uh, shaky because we just met each other, new players coming together to, to form a new team. And uh, all hopes were, were very high, you know, because different players going to the tournament without knowing each other fully well. And the new coach were also introduced just a few weeks before the tournament. And uh, we all went there thinking, you know, uh, what we are going to do. But when the tournament started, you know, we all have uh, different ambitions. You know, there were players that were happy because it was their first World Cup. There were players who were going for their second World Cup. And uh, there were new players also included in the team. The, the hope we have for all of us, and we decided to go into the game. But you know, without the experience, of course, uh, football is uh, is not going to be so easy like that in the higher stage of the of, the, uh, of football. You know, but let's talk about the goal. The goal came from Joseph Yubo. I remember he, he played the right full back in that game, and he made a cross. And fortunately, the ball, you know. You know, came to my position and uh, I started home. Yobo. Oh, lovely ball in. Oh, it's one of the classic goals in the World Cup. What a super goal that is. And here we go. And Agahoa on and on and on. Uh, after the goal, you know, immediately I didn't feel the impact because as a player, you know, I have scored goals for Nigeria a lot of times and I didn't really feel the impact at that moment. But it was after the tournament that you know that really you know came to me that you know it was a very important goal, and from commentaries you know that we ran in that particular uh, match, yeah. so I think today is uh, is one of the uh, most uh, talked about goal in the 2002 World Cup, and I'm very happy that I scored in that tournament. You know, so I think. Uh, I wrote my name in the history book, you know. Ah, I'll leave that uh, for the handlers of football, you know, in Nigeria. The NFF, the uh, stakeholders and everybody who, who make uh, decisions in Nigerian football, you know, to, to handle that because I'm not a trained uh, person, you know, but sometimes uh, we might have our own personal opinion about how we might want the team to be or how the state of sport in general will be but my feed is football and I will always talk about football you know so at the moment uh, we think there's going to be a lot of change a lot of changes in the in the in the NFF cabinet and we believe that will bring uh, that will bring change in the in our in our football Is uh, you can see it's a cross. I did it here, and a little sign of uh, the Chinese lettering, which is uh, the this one means holy, and this one means uh, spirit, holy spirit, and it's just a cross. So uh, nothing really, nothing special, but I just decided to to have one, which is uh, the thing that's uh, the in thing uh, at the moment. So I decided to have one. And uh, also, I've got my my daughter's name written on my my right hand, my daughter's name, and also my wife's name on my left. So those are the two people at the moment uh, in my life. So I like to keep them very close, even when I'm there alone. I look at the names uh, in my body. Uh, that's it. <laughs> That is that is my angel, you know. Uh, she keeps me going, you know. I I love her so much, yeah, and uh, she has brought a lot of joy into my life right from the onset when she arrived. You know, she has made things work out for me easily, you know, smoothly. She brought a lot of blessings immediately. She came and things started changing in my life, and uh, we decided to name her Isabel. Because uh, the meaning is meaning, the meaning is uh, 
a person who has been consecrated to God, you know, and uh, I believe she has brought a lot of uh, good, uh, good things into our lives, me and my wife. So that's why we we are so much in love with each other. She's eight, you know, but when people see her, they think she's 13 or 15. And uh, sometimes uh, when I go out with her, there was a place I went to, they were asking me if she was my junior sister. And, you know, it makes me feel sad sometimes because they say, oh, if your daughter is 15 or something like that, you know, how old are you, you know, so. But I'm very happy she's growing well. I want her to grow to be a, a very lovely lady. And that's what I'm trying to, you know, to do. Every day of my life, I work for that. Whatever I'm going through is for her and also my wife, um, for my mother also. Well, when I see my family, when I see my daughter, and uh, when I remember I have a mother and also my lovely wife, you know, these people give me, you know, the courage to still want to do more, you know, to go more ahead and uh, to work more. And also sometimes it's, uh, spiritually I look up to God you know, to sell me through, you know, the world we are in is full of uh, uh, haters. People just hate you for no reason. Sometimes when people are talking about you, you know, with hate, you ask them what really is the problem. There's, you know, the person will look at you and really there's nothing to say, you know, for no reason. People do that. So the kind of world we live in, uh, we, need, uh, we need to be spiritually inclined, you know, because God said the battle is not for us. You know, for us to fight, we should leave the battle for him. He will do that for us because what can we do? You know, so if God be for you, who can be against you? I think uh, uh, spiritually, I incline to God to 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 help me out in all situations. So every day you have to you have to say thank you. You know, for the battle is fighting for you without you knowing. You know. <music> Well, like I said before, you know, when you when you work hard, you want to party hard, you know, but also you should use a little bit of caution because, you know, in football, there's no retirement benefit, there is no pension. So whatever you have now is what you, what you are going to rely on for the rest of your life. So, but by the time you are partying, you should also know that you should keep something aside for tomorrow.